Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I've got a textbook example for you of a vehicle that has a partially restricted fuel delivery system. I'm going to describe to you how the vehicle is actually behaving. I'm also going to tell you why the vehicle is behaving this way. I'm also going to go over the test that I performed to find out that this restriction actually was there. And then I'm going to go over how I actually fixed the problem. So for the most part, the vehicle ran really well. Nothing really to mention. It had a good idle. It accelerated smoothly. There were no misfires. Didn't have any diagnostic trouble codes whatsoever. It wasn't really until you got on the gas aggressively and consistently that you would notice any problem. And what would happen is when I got into the gas pedal pretty good, eventually the engine would start to lose power. And as time went on, it would lose more and more power and become weaker and weaker until it actually almost wanted to die out. Okay, so the reason it was behaving this way, the reason it was running normally under normal condition and accelerating well under casual acceleration is because under those conditions, your fuel pressure and fuel volume needed for the vehicle to run that way are present, even with a partially restricted fuel system. In the case of this vehicle, we found out that the fuel filter was partially clogged. So under normal conditions, there was enough pressure and enough volume of fuel to get past that restriction, and it was able to keep up adequately to make the vehicle run well. Now, when you put a high demand for power on the system, like in the case of aggressively accelerating, what happens is the computer commands the fuel injectors to stay open for a longer period of time. So it's dumping a massive amount of fuel into those cylinders to create more power. Well, when you have a restriction that only allows a certain volume of fuel to pass it per second or per minute, and then you have your fuel injectors open wide up that allows more fuel to go past them, what's going to happen is there's going to be a, a pressure differential created. So you're going to have good or high pressure before the restriction, and then the pressure after the restriction is going to start to actually wane. And the severity of the restriction will actually determine whether the vehicle loses power more quickly or slowly. So the way that I discovered that this vehicle had a partially restricted fuel system was by doing a simple fuel pressure test. I hooked up my fuel pressure gauge to the vehicle and then I drove the vehicle under the conditions needed to actually cause the symptom to occur, which was aggressive acceleration. And this was the result. So at this point, I knew that either my fuel system was partially restricted or I may have had something going on with the fuel pump where the fuel pump couldn't actually keep up with the demand. A partially restricted fuel system is not the only thing that can cause this symptom. But in the case of this vehicle, it was a partially restricted fuel system. And I found that out once I removed the fuel filter and dumped it out and all the rust came out, as you can see right here. It was pretty bad. So yeah, the fuel filter was pretty bad, but what caused all that? What we had was a situation inside the fuel tank on this vehicle here. What I found was that the inside of the fuel tank or the lamination inside the fuel tank was starting to degrade and rust was building up inside the fuel tank and that was being sent through the fuel system. You can see right here on the sock of the fuel pump, it's just clogged up like crazy with that rust as well. And I also bore scoped the fuel tank and you can see inside there, there's rust all over the place just growing in there. So the root cause of the fuel filter being clogged up was actually a bad fuel tank. So the repair that I made for this particular vehicle was to replace the fuel tank, the fuel pump with the sock and replace the fuel filter. And that had it back up and running and did really well. So guys, a partially restricted fuel system is not the only thing that can cause your vehicle to behave in this way. It's just one thing. Even in a situation where you have fuel pressure waning off, like the vehicle in this video, you could have other factors to consider, like an electrical issue, a problem with the fuel pump, etc., etc. Please don't view this video as an end-all when it comes to diagnosing a particular symptom, such as the one mentioned earlier. You really should be using a repair manual with a diagnostic flow chart for whatever vehicle you're working on and you want to follow that to a T. This video is basically just an aid and it's a good example of a situation where you have a partially restricted fuel system. But by no means is this video to be taken as a fully comprehensive video on how to diagnose this particular symptom. You guys, thank you so much for watching. 
please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. There may be some things I need to clarify. That's where I do that. Also, please read the disclaimer at the very end of it. And like and subscribe. Thank you again.